All right, kids, it is officially Ariel Month 2023. Who's that wonderful girl? Could she be any cuter? Hey, Dumpster Divers, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Still Keeping It On Theme All These Years Later. So obviously this is a very special year for Ariel. Um, the live action movie came out and Hallie did an amazing job. She is Jodie Benson, like her voice is the exact same, like, she just did an amazing, amazing job. She really captured Ariel, and um, honestly, if it wasn't for their stupid budget, it probably would have been more of a success, because I know it only made about twice what it costs to produce, so it's kind of a wash in the terms of movies. Whether you love the movie or not, it is financially not the best move. It's It did okay for like a live action Disney cash grab kind of movie. I love her, I love the movie, but realistically, Disney is no longer a company that makes movies, they are a marketing company. And if they don't get the return on investment that they need from their movies, we're not gonna get more, it's gonna be considered a wash or, you know, not successful, whatever, even though the fans themselves like the movie. But yeah. If they hadn't spent so much on the CGI, which I understand they had to do to get the underwater scenes just right, Hallie's hair just right, all that stuff, I get that. The budget was just huge. The Barbie movie was about $100 million and made over a billion. The Ariel movie was $250 million, and I think it made like $500 million. It might be more now. I haven't checked recently. And... Maybe that's the reason Hallie only got three different costumes, you know? I would have loved to see more costumes, more dolls, more merch, etc. We're gonna talk about some merch today. I wanted to bring up this calendar because I finally got it, and it comes with all these cute little images on the- oh, well, let's get the glare off. There we go. So it comes with all these cute little images on the back. I love cartoon Hallie. She looks amazing. It comes with a bonus poster. I love posters. Just in case you couldn't tell, those are the posters that I look at every single morning while I'm jerking it. And yeah, obviously I couldn't do a whole video on this calendar, so I had to squeeze her in somewhere, because like, what am I going to do? I'll be like, hey team, today we're back and we're going to do a calendar haul. Like, I'm not a lifestyle girly. The main thing we're unboxing today is the thing I thought I would kick off Ariel Month with because you guys were kind of up in my ass about it when I got it, and I'm super excited because we're gonna unbox that 24 inch Brazilian Ariel, that Pequena Seria? I don't know. I don't speak Portuguese. Yeah, we're gonna get her unboxed. She did come from Brazil, she's a little beat up. Luckily, one of my fellow doll collectors down there hooked me up. And yeah, I'm super excited to get her unboxed and see what's going on inside of here. Also, at the end of this video, feel free to stay tuned into a video that didn't quite make the cuts, but I unboxed some dolls in it that I feel like need a spotlight on this channel. It's just, it wasn't a good video. Okay, so here's the Brazilian Ariel in her packaging. As you can see, it got pretty beat up. Her hair is disheveled all that stuff, the plastic got really beat up on the way over. And then here she is compared to the Disney Store Ariel and the Mattel Ariel, just so you can see how tall she is. So she's not like a my size, life size Barbie or anything, but she's pretty damn big. And then of course we have the Hallie packaging on the front. And then on the back, it just looks like a really early stock image photo of her with some child scuttle and then some more Ariel stuff. And then this is made by a company called Baby Brink. They've made other Ariel taller dolls before, but let's get her unboxed. Okay, so here she is unboxed. As you can see, she doesn't really look like Hallie, but she is a pretty doll overall. Her hair is made of different colored yarn. We've got some orange and some brown in there. They did give her her beautiful brown eyes, her signature mole. Her eyebrows look really good. Um, you can see this little white spot on her neck. That was just caused by some of the packaging. And then you go down, you can see her like fishy scale bra with some ruffles going down her tail. It's the same thing. It's just printed on scale details. And then a bunch of different fabric at the bottom for her fins. And then as you can see, her feet do stick out at the bottom. And then if we go around the back aerial, you can see more of her hair, the elastic straps holding up her bra. It's held together by a single piece of Velcro. And then her tail is also held together by a single piece of Velcro. And she has her signature back fin and everything. She's also really, really lightweight. Um, 
So I kind of like that because it just makes her like easier to pick up and everything. And then underneath she does come with a piece of cloth on that's panties, but the way they cut it is really weird. She has the standard Mattel like early five points of articulation where she can't move at the shoulder. It's the very World War II articulation that I'm not a fan of. And then her arms are squishy so you can kind of bend them they just won't pose that way she is articulated in the head where she can move from side to side not up and down and then she has a pivotal joint in her hips that can go backwards and forwards but not out and then no ankle or knee articulation fucking stunning dude i'm gonna shit my pants all right guys and that's just kind of it for the brazilian doll i kind of figured she'd be a quicker unboxing because you know she just is the way she is i'm super glad i have her though because obviously i want all the little mermaid merch from the live action version that came out and i don't know i just think she's stunning like i can't remember how much she cost in us dollars i think it was like 40 or something which seems kind of a lot for a doll like this but also it cost me about that much to ship her to the us too so, but the nice thing is now I have a really rare piece in my collection. I also have somebody from like New Zealand that's helping me get some stuff that is exclusive over there in New Zealand. And I just, I don't know, it, it's kind of cool because she does kind of feel like a little trophy or something because she is going to be such a rare piece in my collection. And yeah, I'm super excited and happy for her. I need to kind of go through the... Um, yarn hair a little bit because it is getting a little tangled in the back here not bad just a little but i don't know i think she's worth it let me go know what you guys think if you want like a big aerial doll like this like yeah she's definitely shorter than the other more recent bigger aerial doll that we all have in our heads from jack specific she is shorter than her all right guys i'll see you in my next episode where you guys get to see a video i almost deleted but i decided to keep in all right, guys, if you hear a bunch of chainsaws going off, apparently the end of October is the best time to be doing that. It's on theme. Indoors, indoors, yeah, indoors. Hey, dumpster divers, and welcome back to a new episode of Holy Shit, Am I Getting My Ass Kicked in Grad School. So I thought it would be fun to just get caught up on everything, obviously. I have been purchasing a lot less and being more selective with curating my collection because it's getting ridiculous. Um, I don't know what to do with all of these. I don't even know. I don't even know what I have, what I don't have, what I want, what I don't. It's crazy. And to think about like ever having to make room or get rid of these and just having to go through that nightmare of organizing and figuring out what I have is a lot. But. I bought more shit, so we're just gonna get caught up and do that. So the 100th anniversary uh, Playline Tiana, <laughs> Collector Tiana came out. So there's that. Collector, yeah, Disney Collector Tiana doll. It says Collector on the box. This is Collector from Mattel. This is $50. And then also for that amount of money, basically, from the Disney store, you get this holiday Tiana with a new face sculpt and everything. Super excited to open this because one, I hate the holiday Disney packaging, like the foil, whatever, it's garbage. Of course, we've got Sugar Daddy Ken, but not just one, two, because I like to go to Paris and I'd like to check out the Eiffel Tower. Are you happy to be in Paris? We. Oui. We'll do the side without my address on it. And then of course, Ted Lasso Barbie wear. If you guys can hear that, something's shaking around inside the box. But he got here quick, so, you know. But yeah, um, I think we're gonna do it uh, a la Joey style, where he never gives you close-up of the dolls. He just sits in the camera frame the whole time and does this. So we're gonna do that. And obviously, the first one is Tiana, but I need my doll-cutting scissors. Okay, so we unboxed our Playline Tiana doll. And um, I do like the stand they come with. Because while this is very Hasbro-esque, it's just done a little bit better. Let's see if she can actually stand on the stand. Because Mattel, it's, unless it's Model Muse, it's usually pretty loose on a stand. Yeah, she's pretty sturdy on there. Like, I'm shaking her pretty good. So the stand works. That's great. Also, um, it wouldn't be Mattel if they didn't, you know, have the heel that's bent on the heel. But hey, at least we get heels for once. And... The shoes are kind of cool because they're like this diamond cut situation where they look jeweled. But the dress is very, very 
play liney where it's like the really cheap satin stuff that we've seen on like tiana's before with um the original mattel licensing for the dolls and on hasbro dolls and like the hard body dolls like stuff like that then they'd usually put a thin layer of overlay on top but i'm sure the 50 dollars came into play for this you know three extra pieces of fabric over here the plastic bits are fine and everything she does have her ears pierced and she does have a tiara her face is gorgeous obviously mattel does a great face sculpt and then they did curl up her hair on top which is nice because i think back in the day they i don't know did they i think they just put it in a bun back in the day so yeah there's that she does have the standard five points of articulation where she can move in the head the shoulders and then she can kick her legs out about that far and about that much forward so there's that and yeah it's all held together with some velcro in the back and then we have the elastic bands to hold up the dress which is fine i don't mind the elastic bands and then the glitter is coming off so yeah that is tiana with no gloves and no floor length gown but it's pretty close you know it's just not all the way there and yeah like i said this is this would have been fine for like a playline doll it's not giving collector to me it's very much yeah you know because outside of model muse i don't know what collector barbie dolls have about five points of articulation so there's that except for maybe like the silkstone barbies but they were heavily stylized and they were the way they were for a reason because they were referencing the original body type for the barbie and then they articulated the silkstones later so and i don't know if you guys noticed but i do have king magnifico completely declothed even though he has painted on details so <clears throat> so 2024 holiday special edition princess tiana doll she's wearing a very like flappery dress from like her time period the 1920s jazz era in the united states of america oh my god the other tiana's glitter is everywhere this is the um third holiday doll from the disney store i've got since they came out i got ariel i got rapunzel and now tiana i didn't really care about tinkerbell so i wasn't gonna fight for her. and rapunzel honestly i got on sale but let's get her unboxed also it's been a minute but like do you guys speaking of king magnifico have you heard his kind of ass song I was watching it on a TikTok ad earlier today, and I'm like, I mean, that's definitely a song. But yeah, the, the Wish movie, does it feel like Disney's celebrating a hundred years? I asked this on Instagram, but I'm just like curious. Like, does anybody else feel like they really put everything they could into Wish? Because I don't. And it makes me kind of sad because Asha is... Um, super pretty but like i saw her original like earlier designs and they took away everything they possibly could for her and she just is very stripped down and boring so i'm hoping we get more outfits and i'm hoping like i'm hoping it's good i'm hoping i'm proved wrong and i'm hoping it does feel like they're celebrating a century of magic because woof okay so here is holiday tiana out of the box she comes with a fur boa which i feel like they give tiana a lot when they dress her up in like white stuff like her uh dream sequence or not dream sequence but like her you know when dr facilier is like oh you can have all this like blah 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 and she's wearing that like white dress and she's like a big shot they do that a lot with her which isn't bad it's just something i've noticed the outfit itself is they have the coat pinned down onto the different layers of the skirt she comes with boots there's like this little train in the back so it's pretty big and yeah she comes with little uh white hand gloves that are held together with a bow then her hair is styled very cute and then curls in the back in like a ponytail she comes with like a little flapper crown with some uh feathers on that are just made out of fabric she her ears aren't pierced her new face sculpt is absolutely beautiful in person big beautiful eyes they i gave her like a better lip color i feel like and yeah she's just 
super pretty with her gold eyeshadow and then this like very uh art deco design on the front and her boots they're badass and they painted on like the details and everything so like there's like some color some gold boots black bottoms yeah i love when they give the girls boots for the holidays like that's fun slay the house down boots would it have been nice to get this tiana with the updated face sculpt absolutely do they still look really cute together absolutely but here you can see like the real difference like this tiana is so much more animated looking than this tiana and this one has an open mouth smile this one has a closed mouth smile but you know same articulation and everything bend and snap knees elbow wrist shoulder articulation in the hips and then pointed feet but yeah she's super pretty we could probably get rid of mattel asha and take her Kaiser stand. There we go. All's right with the world again. All right. Next is something we've been waiting for for a very long time. Sugar's daddy, Ken. Now, would it have been nice if he was Silkstone and they followed through? Absolutely. Would people have still bought him if he was Silkstone? A hundred percent. Like, I feel like Mattel missed out on an opportunity because I would have paid like 150 bucks or whatever to get like the silkstone version of him like i feel like they really fumbled the bag there because yeah i can take him and his outfit and i can put it on one of the silkstone kens like the black haired one or the uh Mad Men, like silver one i don't have them up here with me so oh well this is fun okay i'm into it he looks really good in the packaging and everything obviously it's the barbie the movie packaging like I love this packaging. It's so cute. It's so fun. It's so Barbie. And it just looks like they brought some joy back into it, which is great compared to the other, like, Tiana we just opened up with, like, the most bland-ass packaging. Nowhere on the box does it say anything about him or being Sugar's daddy or nothing. Like, it doesn't have his name. It just says Barbie the movie everything. Like, there's no, no nothing, no description of him in the back, none of that. But we do get that fun mid-century looking house. I'm excited to get them unboxed. You guys didn't get to see me unbox any of my other dolls because that's right when that homophobic deer hit me and like half my footage was lost. I didn't finish like one thing. I didn't finish the other. Like I barely got that aerial movie review out. Like that was a crazy time moving down here. I got my ass beat all the way down to Boise. When was he supposed to release? Like. He's part of the Palm Beach collection, and Palm Beach Coral is probably my favorite Silkstone doll, if not, like, top three. Because it's, like, her... I absolutely love the one I don't have with, like, the red hair and the yellow dress and everything. She's beautiful. I want her so bad, but she's so expensive. And, of course, the vanity. Okay, so he does fit on his stand very well. He is articulated. Sugar fits right down at the bottom there. And he, I don't know, he just, he's doing it for me. I think he's worth the 50 bucks or whatever I paid for him. Did I pay 50? If he's $50, he's fine. If I paid more than that, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I paid 50 bucks and he, I know he got here fucking quick. Sugar's leash is attached with a, um piece of like double-sided tape which we all know on doll skin is not very good so we'll just have to take care of that and honestly like this is the only time a barbie has ever come with like a pet and i'm totally okay with it like it's it makes sense canonically and i'm more into it so his jacket is semi-lined it's hemmed it does have uh not like the metal clasps obviously but like the button snaps it does have little buttons on the sleeves. It's tailored in the back and it does have two working pockets. And then when you take him out, he's just wearing like his um, golfing clothes, I guess. I don't know what this is. Boating. Ah, and then he does have one of these. So we got to take that off. So yeah, he does have the knee articulation where he can sit and now it just looks like he's taking a dump. And then he is wearing like this Jersey knit polo underneath. That is super soft and held together with a piece of fabric. They did put in some little details like the button and everything. So yeah, they like they put some time into the stall, which is great because he was a long time coming. And I'm glad to see Mattel follow through with a concept, even if it's not Silkstone, for an adult collector situation. Like, because like, honestly, the original, he should have just been put out. 
like outrage marketing works and i know mattel is such a pussy when it comes to their image because they're like they don't want anything to dirty it like blah 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 but like outrage marketing and controversy is good like do you know how much they would have sold out if they just gone through with it like he would have easily sold out in minutes i don't know what they're so afraid of like success money like that's not like super controversial and they've done way worse and gotten away with it so i don't know what they're thinking with this so sugar is squishy and she has like a little you know hole so that you know she can go to the bathroom and a little collar ribbon and her face is kind of cute so what is she a yorkshire terrier or something like that no yorkshire terriers are like the brown and the blonde right <laughs> so she's some kind of dog and yeah that's sugar daddy ken and i'm so glad i have him oh my god i feel like i'm holding a trophy like for all the sugar daddies out there and then finally we'll open up another daddy doll the ted lasso doll i got him because he has a mustache that's it like that's the only reason i don't care about anything else i don't care about his clothes i don't care about the guy that plays him is it jason sudeikis i don't care about any of that shit i've never seen the show i don't even know what soccer is and they shipped him here in like two days which honestly like kudos to mattel i don't think they've ever shipped shit out that quick because it was almost like what was the point of being a barbie member you know um or a mattel creations member or whatever um because it would show up on amazon the next day and it would get there quicker than if you used to order it and now they're getting shit out quick so i don't know what had to happen to get that done but i'm glad it's getting done and there he is without the glare oh my god yes i love that mustache I want to go for a ride. All right, let's get him a box. This is also nice too because of all these male dolls. I'm getting some male doll stands that like, and they fix the waist clip on these because the old ones used to snap so easy and these ones seem a little bit thicker and they can actually hold a Ken's waist with clothing on. Okay, so his uh, clothing is made out of like the material you think it would be made out of where it's like the stretchy kind of like soccer outfit and one thing i do appreciate about these dolls is when the male dolls come in from like a live action something like whether it's wonder woman or ted lasso or whatever usually they'll get some shoes with like a little bit more detail for the kens so then that way like my look-alike me doll he gets a ton of extra clothes and shoes and everything and so i kind of like that the zipper works on the jacket you can open it up and then underneath he does have a yellow whistle that they painted the very very front of with some silver paint oh yeah his pockets work so that way he can like beat his meat underneath there see that's sexier like a coach kind of daddy situation with like just his gear on and a t-shirt where you can see his like man titties what yeah and then if we put on the sunglasses now that's a look that's somebody who would get me to do almost anything on the hanky code what the fuck oh and then he comes with two knee guards and then obviously i know ted lasso wouldn't be that like stacked or anything but he does come with full uh male articulation where he can move at the head well male collector articulation he can move at the head the elbows the shoulder the wrist he can kick his legs forward backwards out oh and he's doing the um the like stretchy band-aid kind of articulation that's funny and then he can move it the there and there and that is a crazy image right now somebody screenshot that that's insane bruh i can't keep defending you all right guys those are all the dolls i wanted to unbox yeah i just kind of wanted to like catch up with you guys and obviously like grad school is kicking my ass dude like i have never been so busy and so poor in such a long time it's really hard for me to work right now and boise is more expensive so i really really have to stretch my budget and i'm just i'm tired my mid crit went a little shitty and so i completely pivoted i completely redid my building and it's just been taking hours i'm in studio from like 7 a.m to like 9 p.m like i just go in all day every day and it's bad because I forget to drink water, I forget to eat, I forget to do anything. And I just am getting very tired. And um, I had, like, another family member die just the other day. Um, and it was, like, kind of an uncle I don't know super well, but he was always really nice. And he also had, like, a stand-up side and just, um, yeah, it, it just sucks because, like, one of my greatest fears keeps happening while I'm in college and it's that 
people around me die and then I can't do anything and go see them. I don't have money. I can't like do whatever. I'm like far away or I'm busy or whatever. And I feel guilty because if I just finished college the first time, I would have been done. And it's, it's just scary because I don't know. I, it's like, who else needs to die while I'm in college? And I've already had like two best friends die for like addiction related things. And that was awful and nor but you guys know it, it was just so hard to deal with and now it's like the curse is creeping into my family and I don't want anything to happen and it's I don't know it's just part of being an adult and it sucks and it's things I gotta deal with and I'm at that age now where like sometimes my friends are sharing like a picture of their like family members I'm like ah what happened and they're just like oh we just had a really good day and it's like Whew. that's the kind of stuff I want to hear and so it, I don't know, it's just a lot and grad school is a lot. And it just, all I'm saying is this degree better be worth it. Cause for any of you that have been here from the beginning of my channel, you've known me from before I went to school, you've known me during my school journey. And now you know me in my grad school journey and yeah, it sucks. And honestly, I wish I wasn't so crazy busy and burnt out all the time because it'd be a lot better to just make videos again. Like, remember when I was making like three videos a week? That was insane. I can't believe I used to do that much filming and everything. I, I, I mean, those videos were shit and the audio was crap, but you know, me having shitty audio, crazy, right? But it's like, unless this channel pays for itself, it's never going to get the full time like that it, that I wish I could give it, you know? Like, if I was getting more views, if I had more, like, subscribers and stuff, and like I said, if it was paying for itself, I would, I would be trying a lot harder. And that's something else I feel guilty about. I guess this whole, like, getting caught up thing is just stuff I feel guilty about. And I feel guilty that I bought some of these dolls, because now that they're, like, bought, it's like, okay, what do I do with them? You know? But I'm glad I have them. I'm glad I have those and then um those uh nightmare before christmas mattel creations monster high dolls just came out and for anybody who wants them i hope you got them i that one was gonna be a rough one there's no way people were gonna be able to buy them like they had to sell out in like two seconds because disney fans monster high fans doll fans like it's coming from every angle so if you got them i I'm so happy for you and I'm so glad you did and if you didn't hopefully they do like another random release of them again because they do that sometimes with the collector dolls and everything is they'll do like an initial run and then they'll find some more stock and do them again so hopefully you get them and yeah I don't know any dolls that I'm really excited for except for like that Target exclusive retro Ariel doll um, cause I like Ariel, I like her blue dress, and I like Ariel when she's in her blue dress. As far as Ariel month goes, it's gonna be a lot of live action Ariel themed stuff. Um, we're gonna be doing all sorts of things like unboxing that giant Brazilian Ariel that came in. And just going through and like reminiscing and yeah, I'm super excited because obviously live action Ariel, for the years I've been doing Ariel month, that's, that slays. This was a good year for Ariel. So I'm super excited about that. And yeah, I think that's kind of it, guys. I will see you in my next episode where I just noticed on the shelf in front of me that there is a bottle of lube, and I was wondering where that went. Bye. I'm going to put the ass back in Ted Lasso.